This is one of my favorite passages from St. Peter's letters. I always found it to be uh, very consoling. We did not follow cleverly devised myths, he says, when we made known to you the power and coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Our hope is not founded in mere kind of mythical consolation, trying to uh, make ourselves feel better. What we celebrate today as we celebrate the transfiguration is the evidence that St. Peter himself witnessed for hope. A hope that one day, well, first of all, the, the the hope grounded in the reality that God is indeed walking among us, right? And then that reality of God's taking on human flesh, which became clear in his transfiguration, also then transforms our lowly bodies to be like his one day. And I think especially in this time of pandemic, when we are experiencing the limitations of our bodies, and many times when we're dealing with chronic illness or sickness, uh, someone I, I just anointed this morning, you know, facing this really daunting uh, medical future. Today is a is a feast that gives evidence, true evidence that we can hope. It's the foundation. It says, this is what awaits us. Look at, look at how God has entered into our humanity so that we can enter into his divinity. C.S. Lewis wrote a trilogy, sometimes referred to as the Ransom Trilogy or the uh, Space Trilogy, sometimes it's called. And the middle book of that trilogy is called Paralandra. I just was reading it in my previous work. I did a lot of driving, so I would listen to the audio book. And in that middle book, there's a, a portrayal of the glorified human body that uh, the main character encounters. And it is such a beautiful, strong, robust, body, physicality. It just makes you wish you were there. It's a beautiful portrayal of the resurrected body. We think about when they looked upon the Lord transfigured. What a hopeful thing to see. The transfigured humanity of Christ. And so may that give us, especially in this time of pandemic, hope, confidence, to meet the trials of a fallen world without becoming discouraged.